when, I can't think the, the, the first time, this, oh, I think the first time I met you was down the skate park, about three it, years ago, wasn't it? It would have been about three years ago, yeah. And that was King of the Skate Parks. King of Skate Park, and then uh, that Vans event. Because I never, I, was the King of Skate Parks was the first though, wasn't it? And then I think the so. Vans event that same yeah. summer. Because I don't think I ever met you before, because I think our paths, our generation was just, you know, I'm sort of, yeah. what, how old are you? I'm 34. Yeah, I'm 40. So. <coughs> so fair, don't <laughs> beep, laugh. Look at her laughing over there off camera. What are you laughing at? So, because yeah. of my age. <laughs> so, yeah, so like, I yeah. think that our generation, we just missed each other down the skate park, didn't we? We would have been, because I, I started, well, I first got a bike about 94, mm. something like that. So that's the first time so I went on a bike. So is that when you started, 94? 90, yeah, 94, yeah. I'd say. But it's the first time I kind of ever went went over there. Yeah. And so see when it. so in '94 when you went down there, what boys would I you know when you started down a skate park who was riding down there still? Um, you know Dennis Ephraim. Ephraim. Yeah. Dennis Wingham. Yeah. See Dennis didn't. Dennis started. Yep. I think after I sort of retired, okay. so I, I sort of finished 1987. Right, okay. So, so, but Dennis is, he must have started quite late. Is that, was he from Pompey? He is from Pompey, yeah, he yeah. is. But I, I'm not too sure when he started. I, I know though, he was, doing, he was doing flips when I first started. Yeah. Because he was like the wild man. You think, yeah. oh, here we go. Let's, let's have some of this. It got exciting when it was a contest. Yeah. You I, thought, I, I, I mean, remember the, you know. uh, the wild man when we were kids down there was a guy called Eric Steele. Okay. Do you remember Eric Steele? I don't Steel? know. He's, yeah, on no. my, he's on my okay. Facebook. And he, he sort of used to go down the, the bowl and jump out the bowl, yep. out the bowl. Oh, Have you ever I, seen anyone do that before? He used to jump out the bowl before the platform was at the back. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, yeah. He used to literally just jump out the back of it. Oh, and it's a flat. Onto the flat. Yeah, we leave that to him. <laughs> Even now, <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a big drop. That's a big. Drop. That is big. Hey, well, I used to. <laughs> But he was, it was a nut because it, he always used to crash. Yeah. He used to have very serious accidents all the time. So I'm surprised. He's, he must be coming up to 50 himself now. So. Well, I'm surprised he's got the 50 after that. Jesus Christ. I'd have someone catch me on them. Yeah. So, if, so when you started, Ephraim was Ephra Ephraim world champion in that skate park. He would have been world champion. Yeah. yeah. 90, 92, 93, yeah. I think he was world champion. So yeah. then he, he was someone you sort of looked up to. But I mean, because yeah. we're from London, so... Yeah. Me and my brother, we'd only ever go down on holidays. Oh. So you, you'd only ever see little bits yeah. of everyone. Was, um, was Carlo still riding? Carlo. Like he must have, you know, so. He may have just... been, but he must have been at the end of yeah. going over there. Or maybe I was just too young mm. to know any of them, them guys. So Carlo, so, how was Carlo? Carlo must be 46. He's 46, I think now, yeah. So, but then I met Carlo through. <laughs> Peter Hawkins, I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it'd been through Pete. So, so Pete, yeah. Did Pete run the skate park at one, one Pete point. was the manager. Yeah. He did a good job actually, to be honest. Yeah. He, everything over there was yeah. in good shape. So that was cool, yeah. So I met so, a lot of people through Pete really. So when so. you when you start who was when you when you're down skate who was your inspiration? Who who was the best? Yeah, was the half pipe down? The big half pipe wasn't there. Was it? it was. The, it was a big. It was a big red one. Who, who, so who was sort of the best down there when you started? Right, there was Ronnie Remo, Mike O'Connell. If you know Mike O'Connell, he he was a real technical, um, but he'd, he'd go to the states and stuff. Yeah. So when you, you'd hear about it, yeah. so he always seemed like the was big. Was he sponsored? I'm not too sure if he was sponsored, yeah. but he was like the big deal because you're like, oh, he's going to these Hoffman. Yeah. My Hoffman contests, yeah. you know, so you'd be like, oh, you know, he's doing that. I think he got like a second or third place in one of them. And that, so that, that, that was cool. So was, we, he, was he sort of semi-professional? He, he, I think he was semi-professional, yeah. I think. But he, he'd won some pro contests in England as well. Mm. So that was good. But um, really, because what I mean, I remember walking past the skate park and there was a King of Concrete going on. And that's when I first see BMX was, yeah. it was Stuart King actually. He was doing a massive air on, on the half pipe. I was like, That's, I want to do that one day. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, what was your yeah. first bike? What did you have? I had a, it's called a Professional. It's from Superbikes in Ilford. Yeah, it was, uh, no one knows. 
No, we start going to Toys R Us now, probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? And getting something like that. And then I had a dino. A dino. Well, that dino. Was, that was quite a big jump, wasn't it? A, a, a professional, never had that in my life. No, I, no. Dino. Dino, but I, I did actually want the Haro Sport. But even dinos are quite but, rare. That wasn't a, quite a mass-produced bike, was it a dino? I don't know, it was a dino comp, to be honest with you, so I think it, it, may have been a little, it may have been low end, to be honest with you. Really? Jesus Christ. But I don't know. I've never had low end, mate. No, I, no, <laughs> it's the only low end I've ever done, but it got the job done, because I wanted the Haro, because I got, I got twin brother as well. Yeah. So my parents had to buy two bikes. Vehicles. He was into it as well. Right. So imagine, we go into the bike shop, I want the Haro Sport, yeah. and he wants the Haro Master. Yeah. So my dad's thinking, hold on, so when, this is when, expensive. When you, when you, know, you first, obviously, because yeah. you know I was a legend down there. Yeah, yeah, you were, yeah. Right. <laughs> so did you, when you, when you went down, was, did you sort of know about the old school BMXs down there, like when you first started, was there sort of, because I remember going uh, down there years ago, and well, when I, when I met you down yeah. there, in the cafe, there's a little canteen, yeah. there was a little picture yeah. on the wall, of me jumping at the bowl. Did you ever see that? No, I haven't seen no, I haven't seen, have it. seen it. No, oh, I, I couldn't I, believe it. I, I, it was like uh, Kevin Ranscombe, the guy. I know Kevin, yeah, yeah. Kevin, well, when, when yeah. We were, I was 14, Kev was about 15. Yeah. There was a picture of me and Kev jumping out the, the snake bowl together, yeah. right? I'm doing like a, like a, a spastic look back, like that, <laughs> yeah. and Kev's doing a spastic look back that way. Yeah, yeah, okay. But that was so a he's, black and white pick. It's probably the still there somewhere. It's probably, I guess it is still there. Yeah, I'll have a look. I'm definitely naked for me. Oh, I'll, I'll bang on Instagram. I'll bang on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you do. You, you you learn stuff as you you go there. Then then you start learning about yeah. who used to be there. Like you, you know, especially like I remember that picture. Craig Campbell would have been in in the keel when he, yeah. I think he was doing a foot foot plant right on the top of the yeah. I don't know wall ride slash exactly. He used to love the foot plant. Foot plant. Yeah. You know, and then obviously then I learned about that like, you and yeah. and everyone else that that would go there. And obviously, you know, it was the best. Was... It was the best years of my life. You know, yeah. from from twelve years old, I used to, I used to just uh, literally bunk off school most days and practice on my bike all the time, constantly, constantly, constantly. And uh, you know, and the people who were down there, all the kids down there, we used to, John John Thurston, yeah, would be, he would because he never used to. Talk, he was like our stepfather. He used to look after us and you know give us. When microwaves first came out, you used to have one of the first microwaves. So we used to have microwave bloody pizzas in the winter, or uh, or chicken pies. But no, John first. And... I'd have one of them now, to be honest. So yeah. Yeah, I've been a bit peckish, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah, yeah, it's it's changed over the years there so much though. It's funny because I think I probably same with you as well. But I've been around it so long, from that what ninety four, till. No, I don't get it that much now, mm. but up to a few years, I'd see so many changing, and I guess I've lived through a few eras mm. of the sport because I've been in it so and long. So, what, so what, was, what was your best era? So, I like, when, I like when, so you, when did you start getting good, and what, what was the first competition you went into and won? 